Hello, my name is Michael Hall. I'm the Executive Director of the National Atomic Testing Museum, and I want to welcome you to a brand new exhibit we have called Trinity, which celebrates the 75th anniversary of the first atomic test known as Trinity. Uh, we have an accompanying video now, soon to come on the internet and our webpage that will give details of it if you're not able to come during this time of pandemic. But there's one specific artifact case in the exhibit we want to detail today that will be part of our series of the staff depicting their favorite artifacts. And as you see here, we have a number of very unique things. Uh, at the top here, there's a, a, a sterling silver pin. It's called a Manhattan Project pin. And this is a very rare piece. Uh, this was given to people who worked in the Manhattan Project for at least a year or more. Now this is, this is somewhat different than similar pieces that are made of copper. The copper pins were given to those individuals who worked less than a year. And those are actually fairly common. We actually sell those in our museum store. But this is a, almost a one-of-a-kind unique artifact that has been handed down from Ron James uh, that comes from an actual Manhattan Project engineer who wore that pin. We have another extremely unique item on the second shelf of the case called Trinitite. Now, trinitite, of course, is that uh, greenish glass-like material that was made after the explosion of the atomic bomb near the base of the tower. The heat of the explosion actually melted the sand into a, a greenish-type rock material. And it's also fairly common. You see it all over. We actually also sell that in our museum store. But usually when you see a piece of trinitite, it's probably half the size of your thumbnail. These pieces here are very large, and you just don't find pieces that big anymore because they've all been taken into collections. And these things are thanks to the donation from the White Sands Missile Range a Museum near Alamogordo, New Mexico. We also have some unique artifacts. We have a set of field glasses that belonged to the United States Navy that were actually used at some point during the Trinity test on July 16, 1945. Uh, we have one of the best-selling books, which is also sold in our museum store by Chris Wallace, and that's a, a very renowned uh, historian on the subject of the building of the atomic bomb and the Manhattan Project that produced it, and we sell that in our museum store, and we helped, hope to get him as a speaker soon in our, in our Distinguished Lecture series. So those are just a, a taste of the few of the artifacts that you'll see when you come to our Trinity exhibit. Uh, which is now on permanent exhibit at the National Atomic Testing Museum.